going on everybody welcome back to RC Car Garage and today we are back again with the recent 124 scale RC crawler hopefully you guys saw my last video this guy did not do too bad but at the same time it didn't do very well either One of the biggest issues, well, a couple issues that this thing has is for one, the modulation on this thing. The receiver, the ESC in this, it's not all that great. Um, definitely needs better electronics in here. The other thing that was lacking and not helping this guy was the lack of steering. So what I thought was the servo or the ESC that was giving this thing a lack of steering actually was not. So the issue for the lack of steering is this piece right here that of course you guys can see I already took that off. So this guy is what is giving the lack of steering on the recent 124 scale. Now I had this maxed out already turned all the way to the left and to the right and you guys can see it's not getting much steering out of it what I came to find out was that the stub the axle stub that's right there uh, come on turn so the axle stub right in there is the issue of why this is not getting the steering that it should. So, what I did was I actually purchased an SCX24 front steering axle and we're going to install the axle stubs from there onto this guy and see if, for one, if they'll work, if they will fit, since we're going to be in here working on that, we're also going to see if the worm gears out of this guy are going to work on this guy and see what if they intermesh with each other. So I'm going to start taking this guy apart and then I'm going to start taking this guy apart. Now we're going to mash them together to see if SCX24 parts actually fit onto the recent 124 scale. Let's go ahead. One of the things that I can actually say about this is that this actually has full ball bearings all the way around on this thing, which is very nice. So what I think, so what I think is the issue is that the stub right there, the stub right here is just way too long and it's not allowing for steering. Alright, so there we have it. We have the worm gears all taken out of this thing. So now we're gonna go ahead and take apart the we're gonna take apart the SCX24 axle and we're gonna see what will fit onto this guy. Alright you guys, so from what I can already tell, even though these axles look alike, they are very very different um, I'm gonna put them on top of each other hopefully you guys will see the difference right away from the SCX 24 axle to the 
recent SCX, I mean the recent 124 scale axle, they look to be the same length, but if you guys can see right here, this has more of like a curve. There's a more of like a curve right here to it on each side, where on the recent it is coming straight. So for steering wise, I really don't think any of these parts from at least these hubs from the SCX24 is going to work on the racing, which are actually these, which are actually these right here. I mean, they are a, little, a lot looser. The one thing I like about these is that eh, they're not as loose. So that already is the one thing I see that is different. But we're going to keep going on and see what is going to fit. So the one main thing that I wanted to check and see if the axle stubs from the SCX24 will work onto the racing to try to fix that steering angle problem that this guy has. All right, so here is the SCX24 stub. And here is the Racent. Here's the Racent 124 stub. And here's the SCX24 stub. And as you can see, look how much taller that stub is compared to the SCX24. So it looks like the SCX24 stub is a little bit longer compared, at least from the hole here to the front it looks like it's a little not it's a very very close it's very very close but this right here hopefully you guys can see that that cup right there is the reason why it's not getting that steering that it's supposed to get so I'm hoping that the SCX24 stub Axle stub will fit onto the racing. So that's one thing that we're hoping, I'm hoping that is going to work. Now, before the second thing that I want to see if it'll work will be the dog bone. So this one here is from the racing, and this one is off of the SCX24, and it Pretty much looks identical. They they look very. They are pretty much identical. So identical that I don't even remember which one is which. <laughs> Great. All right, now I remember. So the recent one doesn't have that much grease on it, but the SCX24 is wetter than the recent one so so far so far so good now the worm gears off of the recent look about the same so that one with the yellow this one right here is from the recent and this one is from the SCX24, and they look about the same thing. The worm gear looks to be the same. The worm gear looks to be the same. This is the SCX24, and this is the recent. So the worm gear looks to be the same. So what I'm gonna do right now is flip flop everything over. I'm gonna put the dog bones from the SCX24 onto the racing axles, the stubs onto the racing axles, the worm gears onto the racing axles, and see if this is gonna work, if there's not gonna be a, any binding up or anything. So 
let's continue on continuing on all right so this guy right here is the SCX 24 axle so I'm gonna move that over here this guy is the recent axle housing so we're going to fit that guy in there and this guy right in there and looks to me that it is uh looks to me that it fits in there guys all right so i just flip flopped it and it looks like it is going to work now the scx 24 dog bones here see if they will fit All right, so the diff cover. Now I'm putting the diff cover from the recent back on here because the diff cover of the SCX24 the SCX24 diff cover will not see I can squeeze this side down but then this side will pop up so it will not fit on here so so far these are good signs so we'll put this guy back on and so far so good there, I don't see any, I don't feel anything binding up. It's just going by, it's just going smooth. Look at that spinning like that. So it's going smoothly. Now, now we know that that fits in here. The one thing that I want to do is put all the gearing from the recent back into here. Put the recent dog bones back in. So I'm going to put this recent axle back together with the uh, SEX24 axle stubs in and see if this is going to fix the steering issue that this guy has so i'm going to put this back together and we will be right back all right you guys so i have got this thing back together again so let me fully go over everything that i did to the recent 124 crawler now i switched over the servo to the SCX24 servo. I did end up buying an Emax. I bought an Emax, but I was going to throw the Emax on here, but I didn't just for the main fact that for this particular install of the racing, the way they they have the weight that they have. The servo mounted on here is completely different to the SCX24. Let me show you guys, let me bring you guys closer. All right, so as you guys can see here, the way that this thing mounts, the way that the servo mounts, what I actually had to do with the servo here was cut the ears off. So the sides right here that the screws go into, I had to cut that off and I wasn't gonna do that with this one. So I just decided to take the ESC, I mean, I'm sorry, the uh, servo out of the gladiator here and throw it onto this guy. So as you guys can see, 
it is in there. That is the SCX24 servo out of that guy. And what I had to do in order to get him, in order to get the servo to fit in here, you see that little bit of red there that is double sided tape, but I left the, uh, the film on the top part so that this piece right here doesn't get stuck on the servo. Now, the way that this works is this right here is the axial servo mount, but because of how wide this is and because of where the shock towers are on this thing, this basically, let me see if I can put this on here for you guys to see. So that basically is not going to work. So, so as you guys can see it, you have no room there. So you can't use a SCX24 servo mount. You have to use the mount that they have. It's like a box, basically. The servo is encaged in here. Now, what I also did to order in order to get the servo to fit in here, if you guys see right in the back there, somehow, some way, I don't know how the heck I'm gonna, but if you guys see that little bit poking out, right there, that little bit that's poking out right there, what I had to do was take the back off, this is a stock servo that came off of this guy. So I took this back part off because it basically comes out a lot further than a stock ESC. So here's what the stock ESC would look like. Regular, normal ESC, as you guys can see right there. About the same right there. The back, the back of this guy is a lot longer. So I took the back off of this, stuck it in the back there in order to get the servo to fit because the stock servo ends right there. Right, right that little, where that bump out is, that's how wide the, <laughs> that's actually how wide the old servo is. So the old servo is wider than the SCX24 servo. So I was able to get that to work. The next thing I did was got a longer servo arm. So this servo arm, I don't, I think this servo arm came with the Emax. I just cut off the end of it and I put it on here. And here is the result of the steering angle for this thing. As you guys can see, this, the steering angle for this thing has gotten tremendously, tremendously better. So with using with using the SCX24 stubs where the where the SCX24 stubs I use those because this back part here this back part here is way too long and it was binding up it wouldn't be able to get a good turning you will only be able to turn about that much so not only is the servo not good but the parts that they use on here are not great at all so basically what Racent did was copy the SCX24 and just put stuff together that works that will make it run it works but if you wanted to perform, that's what you gotta do. Uh, the other thing that I came to find out, which is gonna disappoint a lot of people, is that the C-hubs here, this is a SCX24 C-hub, they're not gonna work onto the racing. Here's a picture. So as you guys see, that's not going to work at all. So the C-hubs for this guy isn't going to work. My luck is that I bought SCX24 front steering axle 
which I'm gonna throw on here. Since I have it, I mean, why not? Even though I did all of this, I wanna try to make this guy perform. See how it is gonna perform since I bought that front drive axle. So I'm gonna try it out like this, see how it does, and I'm gonna I'll wind up putting on the front steering axle. I'm gonna just put on the front steering axle and get much better performance out of it just for the main fact that, you know, I'll be able to put aftermarket C-hub, brass weighted and everything, get some weight onto this guy. Uh, the links on here, they're SCX24 links, which they look similar to it. Um, again, like I already explained, the front cover here, this cover will not fit onto here. So you can't use those. So there's a lot of things that you're not gonna be able to use on the recent 124 scale. Unless you end up getting, you end up switching out these axles and get SCX24 axles to be able to put brass ends and so on and so forth onto here. The one thing that does work from the SCX24 steering wise is the steering linkage. So I left the steering links the front steering links here, I left all these on from the Racent just because they do not have that play in it. See, this one doesn't have that play in it like the SCX24 does, which is bad. It's horrible. It's extremely horrible, which I'll show you guys here. So all that play, uh, there we go. So. All that play that this has, the Racent does not have. It has a little bit, but not at that excessive as the SCX24, which I will fit, which I will fix soon enough. Just for the main fact that I got these links that came with the Emacs servo that. I'm going to be putting on the Gladiator that I'm going to be putting on the Gladiator and we're going to take the Gladiator out and see how well that's going to perform because I got some new wheels and I did some things to the Gladiator that I haven't messed with in a while but back onto the racing so if you guys want to get any good steering angle yes the servo is horrible on it uh, but there's more that you need to do than just change out the servo and the electronics and that will make it perform a lot better so let's turn this guy on that's when you know it's all bonded together so here is the steering angle on the racing now which you guys can see is a lot better there's a little bit of uh, bounciness in the servo i'm guessing that's the esc the electronics in here are garbage the electronics are garbage in this thing guys so but that steering angle is a lot better than that steering angle is a lot better than when it came out of the box so that is something you guys are going to have to do if you want to get better steering angle. Um, let's go over it again. So to get better steering angle out of this thing, you need a servo. You need this guy, the wheel stub, axle stub, drive shaft stub, axle stub, axle stub <laughs> uh, for the left and right side. and. These dog bones, I still have. These are from the SCX24, which I didn't use. They will work. The uh, SCX24 wheel stubs will work onto the stock racing uh, uh, um, dog bones. So you're gonna need, again, <laughs> you're gonna need a new servo, those wheel stubs, and a longer servo arm to be able to get 
better steering angle out of this thing. So, that's a lot. You can do that, or you can just get the front axle from an SCX24, put it on this guy, but when you do that, if you guys go to do that, <clears throat> you still have to use the same mounting that the Racent has for the servo. Do not use the axial servo mount because that is not going to work. Unless, because I've been checking this out, unless you get stock shock towers from I have it on my Gladiator. These stock shock towers that are on the back of the um, these stock shock towers that are on the back of the SCX24, you can probably probably use those on the front to be able to maybe get this guy to work. The SCX24 servo mount. So I hope that this clears up a lot of info on the recent 124 scale Jeep JLU, I think it is, and um, what parts will transfer over from the SCX24. Um, again, I would not recommend this guy there's a lot of work you have to do in order for it to perform. Like I already know that any other rig, because I'm looking at my other rigs here, um, but any other rig, you're gonna change out the electronics anyway, so whatever. I'm trying to do, I'm trying to see what it can do in its stock configuration, stock electronics, but really not much it, it's it's not much uh the modulation isn't there modulation is horrible on it i'm trying to see what can be done without switching out the electronics but all in all the electronics have to go which everybody does a lot anyway um you know the gears in this thing the transfer case gears in this thing I didn't check to see if they were the same as the axial but they probably are uh, the worm gears on this thing they are the same as the axial worm gears that I actually took out right here these are the worm gears for the SCX24. I just left the stock ones back in because if something happens with these, a chip, tooth chips or something, I have these that are going here. But more than likely, I'm gonna be putting this SCX24 front axle, steering axle on here because there's nothing else that you can do with these front axles, nothing. There's nothing that you can do with them. You can't add any brass weights, any brass anything to these off of the SCX24. Here's a picture again of why. So as you guys just saw, you can't use them. Um, when I did put them on, I had so much the wheel was literally like this on both sides, so that, don't even think about it. Um, but yeah, I hope this clears up a lot of info on the steering on the recent 124 Jeep. And um, in the next video, this guy is gonna get taken out to the crawl course in my backyard. And we're gonna see how much better it is going to perform. What I might also do, if these work, is I have these here 
for, I think these are for, actually for the Bronco, the TRX 4M Bronco. And I'm going to see if they'll work on this guy. Just get some extra weight on the front. If not, I'll take the wheels off of my Jeep uh, Gladiator, throw them onto here just to get some more weight down below because just get some more weight down below because again this is a hard body there we go <laughs> so this is a hard body which is top heavy so I want to get some weight down below this time to see how much better it'll perform with the steering fixed the way it is now and uh, we'll go from there so hopefully you this video is informational to you guys that you guys were able to get some good information out of it to fix the steering on your racing if you have one if you're thinking about buying one now you know what you need to do in order to get good steering angle out of this guy so hope you guys enjoyed it you all have a good one keep our seeing and don't forget uh, like and subscribe until next time y'all have a good one